I've been here uh, now um, 36 years going on from a student all the way through. Uh, and I've had the um, privilege and opportunity to make sure that this uh, wonderful history and legacy of this university uh, is passed on to the next generation. When Dr. Shepard found this institution, um, July the 5th, 1910, um, it opened up a new uh, opportunity as well as a new chapter in the life of this campus. It was also um, an important feat to have a very well-known African-American architect and designer who was here in 1910 who designed our very first five buildings. And that person was Mr. William Sidney Pittman, who was a son-in-law of the famed Booker T. Washington. We have here um, from our first and earliest catalogs that we still have on record, uh, dating back to 1911 and 1912, some of the earliest images of the campus that we have talked about. Dr. James D. Shepard uh, was one who believed very much in the question of aesthetics, along with academics. The idea that uh, our university buildings uh, and its grounds should very much mirror, um, but also and offer a reflection to the students in regards to their education. Here in this university that has many structures, uh, about eight overall that are on the National Register of Historic Places. Uh, many of our early students were those who helped to build these structures, and that lends a lot to uh, much of the great work and effort on behalf of the university to really involve students um, from the earliest beginning in the creation and support of this great institution. 1925, that beautiful house, um, the Dr. James and Anna Day Shepherd House, which is the oldest structure that we have on our campus, located across the street in front of the campus, um, became the, the president's home and served until the 1940s, until Dr. Shepard's death. This great um, structure, known as the James E. Shepard Memorial Library, uh, was constructed as a tribute to Dr. James E. Shepard and in honor of him. When students come into this library, when the um, visitors come into this library, that they will walk away very much imbued with the history and culture of this institution through not just photography, but also through um, the lens of our great facilities and buildings here.